Hey YouTube, uh, Ryan Breton 69 here. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys a quick little video on how to uh, customize your Mac and a few extra features as well. Um, first off, uh, as you can notice here, I have a uh, custom dock, obviously. You can see my little, uh, little uh, arrows here instead of the little um, dots that is the default. Um, now, in order to change these, I am using an application called Candy Bar. Uh, it's a free download and uh, works beautifully. Um, let's go ahead and fire this up here. I'm using the 27 inch iMac I just got, and so far I love this thing. So far, so good. Um, now, here is candy bar. Now what you do is you go to file and you import a folder of icons into candy bar and what it does is it brings them down here in this area and um, all you do is you literally just drag and drop whatever icon you want onto um, the default icons here and it replaces them and then you hit apply as you can see my finder is what it is now I've got all these uh, new folders um, really cool dark folders and um, a few other things changed now <clears throat> to download icons there's numerous sites to download from but the best one I found um, is this website here? I'll show you. Um, what's it called now? The Icon Factory. Now, this website I found to be the best for downloading icons. As you can see, what you do is you just click on Freeware, go to the bottom here, Icons. And uh, here you go. You got tons of icons to choose from. Downloads them in your downloads folder. And like I said again, I'll say it again. Go to Candy Bar, File, Import, Folder of Icons. And just drag and drop and apply them. Um, if this area gets too full because it's a trial version, you're only allowed so many. After you apply what you've used, delete it and just keep doing so. It's very easy. Um, if you can't figure that one out, I mean, too bad for you. <laughs> so that's Candy Bar. That's how I've changed my icons. Um, I'll give you a little glimpse of what I've done here. See these icons I got? Like I got my Nintendo 64 ROMs for uh, 64s. And uh, all of these are changed. Very cool. Very, very cool. <laughs> um, now, another good thing to do to customize your desktop is to use uh, either Docker I have here or Super Docker. Um, I have both of them because they both have very minor uh, different tweaks you can do. Um, let's fire up Super Docker here to give you guys a little, little idea of what to do. Um, you can change the style the uh, alignment. I mean, I use this to change my stack color. As you can see, it's blue. Um, I I pretty much use Super Docker just for the stacks, and I use Docker to change the actual dock color, which is very simple. You change the color here. Um, you can change the separator to whatever color you want, and the um, the uh, indicators and then you hit apply and type your password in and close it. Now another uh, cool feature I wanted to show you that I just uh, ran into is called Cinch. If you notice up here, um, it's a very minuscule program that chills up top and um, I had the trial version so it comes with a pop-up every time I turn on the computer which doesn't bother me. I don't want to pay the seven dollars. Now what that does is if you guys ever use a Windows 7 computer, you're familiar with the snap 
feature. What that is is you can drag in uh, a window to the side here and boom. Snap it to the left, drag it to the right, snap it to the right, open up another window. There you go. Or if you want, you can uh, drag it right up top. See that? Boom. Uh, I got the 27 inch, so having a full size window is really just uh, ridiculous. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's a pretty simple, uh, easy way to customize your Mac, make it, make it yours. You know what I mean? Um, uh, if you want me to embellish on anything or get back with any more videos, uh, just hit me up. Uh, comment me on YouTube. It's uh, Ryan Breton69, and uh, check out my channel and my videos. All right, thanks, guys. Peace.